हेलो एवरी वन आई सोनाली गुप्ता केमिस्ट्री टीचर इट माधव ऑफ इंडिया पब्लिक स्कूल आई एम हेयर टू डिस्कस अबाउट मेटर इट्स नेचर एंड बिहेवियर एज यू ऑल आर द नाइन्थ स्टूडेंट एंड यू आर नॉट वेरी मच फेमिलियर विद दिस सब्जेक्ट सो डोंट बी पैनिक इट्स वन ऑफ द इंटरेस्टिंग सब्जेक्ट विच बेसिकली डील्स विद द साइंटिफिक स्टडी ऑफ द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ सब्सटेंस वॉट हैपन्स टू दैम इन डिफरेंट कंडीशन और वेन मिक्स विद ईच अदर so let us come on the topic that is matter in the first video we are going to discuss about the introduction of matter so what is matter even the device on which you are watching this video is a matter right in scientific term matter is anything that has mass and occupies space so what is mass now mass is just a measure of quantity or how heavy the object is as you all know some objects are very heavy whereas some object are light so this is all about the mass now to give you a sense what is a space so for that let us take an example what you have to do you have to pour water in a mug or the level of water rises the space in the glass is occupied by water right in other word we can say that the volume of water in the mug is a space that water occupies so from that you got this definition that matter is anything that has mass and occupy space but have you wonder the matter that make up your device is same as a water which is also a matter right but they are not same your device that is your mobile phone and the water they are not same right so what is the difference in them so the device in which you are watching this video is having a definite shape and a fixed volume and a definite boundary so it is a solid and the water that take up the shape of the container but at the same time the quantity of water is fixed in another word volume is fixed so hence a matter having fixed volume and no fixed shape is a liquid state so this is a liquid state of matter now we talk about the third state of matter that is gas but we can't even see around us then why do we say gas is a matter and how do we know that gas has mass and occupy space for that also you have to take an example of a balloon let us take an balloon in a cardboard box and let a blow balloon and try for it again in a cardboard box now it does not fit in that box this means that air occupy space but what about mass so how we have this you have to take a inflated balloon and a deflated balloon and you have to hang both the balloons on the opposite side of the stick you have to take one stick and you have to hang this inflated balloon in one side and the uh, deflated balloon on the other side now this stick is no more balanced it take more on one side this prove that air has mass therefore you can say that gas occupies space and has mass and hence gas has a no fake shape and no fixed volume so at this state we can say that matter consists of three different state the first is solid which is having definite shape and a definite volume other is liquid which is do not have a definite shape and definite volume and the last one is a gas which do not have a definite mass and a definite volume now we discuss about what matter is made up of matter is made up of very very small tiny particle and so they are very much small we cannot even even we are not able to see with the naked eyes right so we cannot uh, even though they are very much small but still we are amazed to know that even these particle are made up of unimaginary more tiny particles earlier indian philosopher thought that matter is made up of five element also called as panch tat the first is air other is earth third is sky fourth fire and the last one is water but later on we get to know that matter is made up of those tiny particle which is not smooth and continuous these are these are very tiny particle and uh, which is not very smooth and continuous so the question arises in our mind that do they remain fixed or jump or hop or do they stick to each other or uh, or remain separated 
we will learn more about in the next video till then recap what we have learned today so let us have a recap first the definition what is matter matter is anything that has mass and occupies space next matter exists is solid liquid and gas third one matter is not smooth and continuous in nature it is made up of large number of tiny particles fourth one these tiny particle cannot be observed by naked eyes so this is all about our video hope you will learn something new in this session see you soon again thank you